Why do you need 2025 20, Oreos? Barely two months are remaining. And we can't afford to make any mistake as of now. Because even one single day lost is easily 13 hours lost of your self-study and at least 150 questions that you could have practiced on that particular day. So whatever has happened till now, let's forget or let's not regret all those things. But what is there in the future for the next two months that can decide whether you will be wearing this or not, whether you will be wearing the doctor's coat or not. And let's make sure that NEED 2025 is our last draw. And I'm not just saying it for the sake of it, but you should also really mean it because you should not even have even one bit of doubt or even one option also to take a drop at this point of time. Whatever you have to do, you have to do in these two months. Even though your score is 400 or 300 or 500, we will make a plan for 650 plus. So my dear students, this is your Captain Shreyas. And I have been training, mentoring, guiding kids for more than 13 years. And under my mentorship and guidance, a lot of niche students have done extremely well, even those who are below average. There are so many people, so many students I can talk about who were so bad in physics or even other subjects. And then when I got the message on the result day, sir, I got 170 marks. Sir, I got 175 marks in 180 in physics. That day was probably one of the best days of my life. And what you should do, I will tell you. So quickly smash that like button and stay subscribed on the channel because this channel is for you. This is the number one channel for NEET in English just because of your love and affection. And we want to make sure that this channel grows only by your support. Thank you so much for loving us, for liking the video and subscribing. Now, depending on when you are watching the video, you might have two months or maybe even lesser than two months. I just hope this video reaches to you in time. That's why you should stay subscribed. So let's see what you should be exactly doing in detail in these two months. Now, the next two months basically is going to go in fixing all the weak spots in making sure you cover the entire syllabus. Reason being, there is no use of priority order or high weightage, low weightage because NT has really messed up the weightage of the topics in J. So there is no guarantee whatever worked in 2024 or even in 2023 or even in 2020 may not work. So that's why you have no other option but to go with the entire syllabus. Suddenly a low weightage might become high weightage and you will be shocked. And mark my words, when the exam is out, you'll be like, thank God, sir, you told us this or else I would have just studied some high weightage topics based on the last years. That will no longer work. You need to increase your speed. You need to complete your paper. When you don't complete the paper, then you feel even bad. I mean, you will feel worse that even after knowing these questions, I was not able to complete on time. That's the worst feeling any neat aspirant can get. So you cannot leave a question because of lack of time. So your speed and accuracy, that matters. You knew the concept. You knew the theory, but you made some mistake. What to do for that? I'll tell you. And of course, you need revision. You might have watched so many movies, but you will not remember the stories. Only those movies which you have spoken about with your friends or seen some memes or discussed with your family or seen some spoofs or something like that. Then you remember the storyline, the plot. So my dear students, how can neat portions be any different? Anything for that matter needs revision. If you think I will complete my syllabus, just, you know, one week before the exam, that is definitely wrong. You need to complete it with at least one round to two rounds of revision. That's your road to success. So, what exactly do you have? Because we cannot make the earth spin slower and say, okay, now May 5th is one year away. We can't do that. Time is the most precious thing. It is not money. It is not money. It is the time which is precious. Money lost can be earned. Time lost can't be earned. So 55 days, hopefully you have as of watching this video, 13 hours per day you can take out. You don't have any boards. You don't have any other work to do. 
13 hours easily possible sleeping 5 to 6 hours and you have around 700 plus hours these 700 hours are yours now how you use them it's up to you if you miss one one hour you cannot gain that one hour again that's it these hours are not too many it looks like 700 no it's too much and it's too less also for biology i recommend 250 plus hours highest weightage scoring and doable and you love it most of the time so obviously spend more time over there but does not mean you spend 600 hours in biology and then you say sir 100 hours i spent in chemistry and sir two hours i spent for physics you are then an ultra legend chemistry around 180 to 200 hours physics 170 to 200 hours now this can depend on various factors maybe somebody's strength is chemistry so obviously you will make it even more stronger and you will make sure that you score as much as possible physics is very weak so you will do at least the bare minimum stuff or physics is strong chemistry is weak it will be vice versa so 650 marks 55 days smart study with high accuracy do not do unnecessary stuff do what will give you marks don't go deep into the subject not needed derivations not needed why do you want to waste time do what will give marks ask yourself simple question will this give me marks yes no don't do it as simple as that okay anything whatever activity as simple as waking up sleeping think is it going to affect my health oh it's going to oh my health will get affected that means i will study less that means it will affect my marks so everything is now concentrated on your marks and how smartly you utilize these 700 plus hours what are the things that you need to do ncrt 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 is must but you cannot stop at ncrt every single line of ncrt for bio should be decoded by all of you and the entire ncrt playlist is there on the channel so please go through it for physics chemistry bio next pyqs at least do last 10 years see unlike je where you have multiple sets every year there is only one set unless there was some re-exam so you barely will get some 10 12 years of papers in the last 10 years solve every single pyq anything that you cannot solve mark it and after a few days solve it again bare minimum 10 years i would be very happy and you should be very confident if you solve using the 37 years of pyq book by the way yeah vedantu has those books you can check out the link which is there in the description box place your order and get it delivered to your doorstep as of now okay next quality question practice don't unnecessarily solve very difficult questions or very laddu questions both are bad but you should have a mix of both very few difficult questions sometimes just to get the thrill just to challenge yourself and very easy questions in case you're losing confidence but otherwise stick purely to ncrt neat level okay sometimes few j questions can be solved to challenge yourself but don't just stick to j questions that will not help you for need so please practice need based question banks need based textbooks or question books for your need practice you need to clear your backlogs or correct your mistakes something was bad maybe rotation now is the time it's march watch the one shot or watch that detailed concept sometimes out of a big chapter only one part is missing which you do not know clear it out if you are making mistakes in it make sure you read or you watch better it is to watch because when you read you might not understand it so well at times watch a lecture quickly any lecture doesn't matter whether online or recorded live and clear your concepts make sure you are not making mistakes do five six problems on that particular concept don't have to sit and watch the entire video only that part which you are making mistakes or you have backlogs in next important thing revision and mock tests i will tell you how to do that but revision please keep it for the end if your syllabus is not completed but if your syllabus is done 90 percent 80 percent start with the revision don't wait for 100 percent syllabus completion that is the worst mistake which any neat aspirant can do okay so let's see a proper strategy sure shot strategy not a random one it won't work obviously the game the stakes are very very high 55 days i will divide it into two parts what are those parts 35 days and 20 days 35 days for in the worst case completing your theory syllabus whatever if 
you are nearing the syllabus completion, then this is what you are going to focus on more, not this. But let's assume you are at 300, 400, 500 marks. You want to complete your theory. You want to practice more questions. You want to, you know, give mock tests weekly. Mock test intensity will not be very high. And then you go to the final phase of revision where you are only and only focusing on revision, correcting mistakes and mock test. Now in that first phase, where is it? In that first phase, 35 days, what you're going to do? Let me show. You will practice bare minimum for four hours. This is just the practice time out of 13 hours per day. The remaining hours, you can use it for watching lectures, attending classes or revising or seeing notes or, you know, learning theory, watching some uh, one shots. Okay. All these things you will use it for, but practicing MCQs, that is bare minimum four hours. How are you dividing it? Biology, 60 to 80 questions take around less than a minute for it then chemistry around 40 to 50 questions again take one to one and a half minute physics 35 to 45 questions again take one and a half to two minutes i am giving you more time for physics it's okay but do a timed practice now you cannot sit for 20 and 20 20 minutes per question you don't get a question see the solutions first line if it clicks good if it doesn't click see the second line if it clicks solve it don't see the complete solution Please don't see the complete solution. Only when needed, then see it. Okay, when you are seeing the solution and getting back, this two minutes might become three minutes or four minutes. That's okay. But don't let it go too much. Around four hours to five hours is enough for practicing. If you count the total number of questions and in these four hours that you have done, basically you have done around 150 questions easily. 150 questions easily you have done and per day. So 35 days. In the first phase, 150 questions, that's more than 5,000 questions. Isn't it amazing? If you follow this consistently, loving it, guys, I think you can do it. Four hours per day you give me. Rest of the time you read, watch, revise, again, write some definitions, whatever you want to do, diagram practice, everything. But at least four hours you give me, 150 questions per day you will be completing 5,250 questions, guys. That is incredible. Tell me after this, how can you score less than 600 or 650? Impossible. Now, we'll make this even more sure shot. How? I'll tell you. The last 20 days. The last 20 days, follow this particular timetable. Every single day, one mock test. Then you will spend time for understanding the mistakes. Then you will again revise. You will revise the formulas. You will again go some topic wise practice where you are weak at you will make an error notebook see what errors you are making add more errors and make sure you are working on it and then do some final revision and then relax yourself for the day that is your daily schedule for the last 20 days if you follow this one mock test in the last 20 days 180 questions 20 mock tests guys 3600 questions and the old 5,000 questions odd and this 3,600 questions guys that is crazy that's close to 9,000 questions 9,000 questions you can do in the next 55 60 days and the last three days are not counted because those last two three days you cannot study I want you to relax and chill and just to do revision you cannot sit and solve mock test just two three days before the exam in the actual question paper Spend one hour for biology, one hour for chemistry, one hour for physics. Ideal, but usually what will happen? Chemistry will be 45 to uh, minutes to 60 minutes. Biology will be 50 minutes around and physics will take most of the time. Although you might get less marks in physics or you might take uh, make more mistakes, that's okay. But whatever requires more time, give it because physics will decide whether you get into a college or not. See, your selection... Your cutoff clearance will happen in bio. Everybody will do well. Easily everybody can score around 290, 300 marks. After that, you can practice more NCRT diagrams, go through PYQs, watch NCRT decoded. Easily you can push to 320, 340, 350 also. But chemistry and physics is what will decide whether you get into AMS, GMC or a top private college. So for that, you need to give these two subjects their quality time. Okay? Take up to two minutes for physics in the paper and take up to one and a half minute per question in the chemistry paper.
So physics maximum two minutes, chemistry maximum one and a half minute. That is that is your ultimate timing strategy. So when you give the mock test, how to analyze even now? See, simple. When you give the mock test, don't just see the score. Do a proper analysis. See which topic you are scoring less every time. Not because of silly mistake or calculation. You are scoring less. You don't know only. That means those are your weak areas you have to work on. You know the topic. You solve the problem, but you take a lot of time to get to the answer. You can do it, but you take time. That means you need to probably practice more or maybe that concept is not very clear. So you are not so sure while writing the steps of the problem. You are making silly mistakes means nothing wrong with the topic. It just means you need to read the question carefully. You need to do your rough work properly. You need to be more concentrated and focused and make a mistake notebook. Track your mistakes. Never repeat a mistake twice. If you are doing the same mistake twice, that means something is seriously wrong. If you do it three times, something is really, really wrong. So be very careful. That's why make a mistake notebook. If you do PYQs and MCQs as practice, then See, if you are making a conceptual mistake at home while solving the PYQs. Conceptual mistake means, I mean, you had to apply this principle, but you applied some other principle. So you need to revise the theory again, practice one question or watch that part of the lecture. Calculation mistake means you have to solve more numericals. Sir, calculation error, sir, calculation, I'm very slow at. Practice, practice numerical value problems, not just theory statement based numerical calculations practice there is no other way you have to get a hang of it if you are making silly mistakes again please double check make your rough work properly see if you are reading it properly see if incorrect was asked false was asked these are basically based on just lack of concentration or misreading or overconfidence or something like that okay it's not necessary that you have to watch the lecture because of silly mistake i will give you three options of resources and all three options are there within your reach. Flashcards for quick revision so that all the notes are there within your pocket, small pocket you can carry it. Physics, chemistry, biology. These are quick revision cards. Don't have to borrow, beg from anyone. Next, I will give you the PYQ books. This has all the 37 years PYQs. Yes, as a proper collection, chapter wise, segregated, topic wise, with detailed solutions and answers. You can order it and start practicing from it. And of course, you have the Vedantu NEET 2025 crash course in pure English. All the options are there in the description box right now at a very good price. As you can see, the NEET 2025 crash course, click on this particular link and you will see, you will get three options. For 1999, you get the live classes, the mentoring, the class tests, assignments, DPPs, everything. Okay, with the discussions. The batch is starting 17th March. You can start using the materials right now. If you go for the Crash Plus QR card, you will get those flash cards. Yes, the printed QR cards will be couriered to your home address for quick revision. All the three subjects. Some of you will be like, no, sir, I want that also. I want a test series as well. If you want a test series offline mode, apart from the online test series, which is already a part of this batch, you get additional all India level test series 180 courier to your home address with OMR sheets for additional practice. All the three options available. Of course, you can check out the 37 years PYQ book as well over here. Yes, the 37 years PYQ book if you want it for additional practice. You can order it for less than 1000 by clicking this particular link for need exclusively with detailed solutions. So all the three options I have given you the ball is now in your court. Please follow this plan sincerely. And see, after, after May, you will only come and tell me, Sir, thank God I did 9,000 questions in the last days. Sir, thank God I followed this strategy. And now I'm surely getting 650 plus. That will be the confidence. If you want that, please follow it, like it, and share it with someone who might be low or might be not so confident or getting less marks in their mock test. Do not forget to share this joy of learning with every single NEET aspirant. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. This was your Captain Shreyas signing off.